Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. So, uh, today a friend of mine sent me a picture of a golden doodle. It's either a mini doodle or a puppy that has been dumped or lost, or maybe its pet parents had it in a car accident and it ran and it's just surfaced and it is in terrible condition. If you know of anybody anywhere in the U.S. that's missing a doodle puppy, show them this picture because you never know where it came from. It could have been picked up and it tried to get home by running away. It could have been lost in a car accident. Any, any number of things could happen. It could have ran away when it went out to potty and the people couldn't find it. So uh, just share this picture no matter where you live and maybe they can find its home. It's at the local animal shelter right now. So I'll show the picture again at the end of this video. I had this audio all ready to go and somehow I deleted the audio, so I'm having to do it again. But what I'm doing here is I took the girls outside much like I do most days and threw the Frisbee and the ball and the stuffed animal. Roxy likes the stuffed animal, Paris likes the ball, and Bougie likes the Frisbee, but they'll all chase it. So um, that's what I'm doing right there. I let them run all over the yard as much as they want to after they get done doing this. Today I'd say they spent three or four hours running and I couldn't get them to come in. I finally had to uh, get them a snack to bribe them into coming in because it's so nice out right now. It started turning fall today and th the weather is just beautiful. But um, I'm not running in this video at all because I'm old and there's about 25 holes in the yard where Paris has been digging up moles. And I'm always afraid I'm gonna step in a hole anyway because um, last December, when I brought the puppies home, the day they came home, I broke my a leg and ankle and heel and had head surgery, and I'm still not 100% healed up from it. So uh, give me a little bit of a break on moving slow and walking walking funny on one leg because this, this thing's a little bit of a challenge. But either way, I digress. I love uh, playing with my pups. I tell you, they that Frisbee bougie started chewing it up about 10 minutes after we got it home, and it was supposed to be chew resistant. <laughs> but I guess they've not seen bougie and her teeth. But she chews on all the stuff that's hers, I have to say. So far, we have had no issues with chewing except she did get into my greenery. I've been slowly letting her and Paris stay out, you know, an hour or two if I have to go somewhere. And they've been doing real good, but they do love greenery and they always have. I mean, anytime they could grab a bite of my greenery when they went by, they did. And it's fake greenery, but I've just started throwing a lot of it away until they grow out of that. Probably by the time they're two years old, they'll stop eating all my greenery and belching it up right in front of me <laughs> so anyway i hope uh, that little golden doodle finds its home i hope it's microchipped i don't know I th whoever put it on facebook someone caught the dog and took it to the, the no-kill shelter down there in town it's about probably an hour from me half an hour from me something like that in uh I'll be interested to see if anybody does a follow-up on it on Facebook. I'm not on Facebook and don't intend to be, but uh, I have friends that are, my husband is, and they keep me updated on things. And that's the only, only the second time that I've ever heard of a golden doodle in my area that was homeless. And uh, I don't know whatever happened to the other one, but it was a female and she was big and she had had pups but she looked about that bad uh, on her hair and everything, and she was so hungry and skinny. And I don't know whatever happened to her. I don't know if somebody just bred her and dumped her or she got away. I don't know. I just don't know what happened to her, but it's sad. And I hope nobody that's watching my channel is a pet dumper, because that's not good. So uh, there, I'm just throwing that little Frisbee and. 
I know I'm gonna have to order Bougie a uh, Kong Frisbee because those Kong toys are super strong. Not affiliated with Kong, not sponsored by Kong. Um, I want to thank you guys too while I'm at it for watching my videos. Um, I'll, what I'm doing to recap is I'm letting everyone watch my girls, my, my Paris and Bougie, grow up from the time they came home at, I think they were eight weeks old when they came home, until they get two years old and they're all through with their testing. And if they pass with flying colors and, and acceptable numbers, then I will breed them both. They're my house dogs and I intended to do this a long time ago. Didn't realize how awesome the testing would be on these two. Uh, they hadn't been health tested when I bought them, but I honestly just feel like I was blessed with two really good, healthy dogs. And so this November, December, I'll uh, get their preliminary uh, OFA testing, even though they usually do that after the age of two. There's a vet here that does it at the age of one, just kind of give you an idea. And it's kind of expensive. I'll have to probably pay about $1,000 for each dog because I'm going to let them put them to sleep while they do it because it's easier on them and it's better, they said, for them to read the tests if they are not moving around a lot. And Paris probably would be the one that'd be moving around a lot. But anyway, if that t all that testing is good, then we'll have them tested again at one. I mean at two. And that will be when I'll know if I can breed them. Now, if at the age of one, stuff shows up that is not good, then I'll go ahead and have them spayed, and that'll be in November. Uh, I don't think it'll happen because their Orivet and their Embark testing was super good. The only thing they had was they both carry uh, the ichthyosis gene, and I want to breed them to a clear male for that so the puppies won't have it. But they don't have it, dialysis, they just carry the gene. Um, and if you breed them to a clear male, then you can do away with that. But I'm gonna also test their puppies, for their DNA health on their puppies. Probably while I'm at it, I'll get their breed testing even though I'm looking right at the, the ones that come out to be for sure golden doodles in their breed testing. I had their breed tested and health tested. So uh, I've got all that paperwork and I'm gonna do it on the puppies too when they're born. And then surely by the time they're able to go home, they'll have their health testing results back. Um, I don't know if there's anything else I maybe wanted to address. I had all this on my other video and then I accidentally deleted it trying to edit a little spot out where I was talking about Roxy. See, there she is wrestling with Bougie, but I didn't have her in, in uh, frame real good. I just got a message that distracted me. Um, I didn't have, a, have everything right and I was trying to fix it and I messed it up. So I'm having to do this all over again. So anyway, eventually I'll get a website built and I will have an application on the website and people can be put on a waiting list. I have a waiting list already started where people have been watching and uh, have have asked to be on a list. And and you know what? If they don't, if they don't uh, still want a puppy by the time I get all this done and know the, if I'm going to breed the girls or not, that'll be okay. But when I get my website, then I'll have a, a, a deposit. You'll put down a deposit, whoever wants a puppy, and then they'll pay the remainder of it when they pick up the puppy. Now, when I bought Roxy, I actually paid for her. I paid her a deposit, and then I thought, hey, why don't I just pay for her? I'm not gonna turn her away. So I got hold of Erin, and she, and I paid her for Roxy, and then that way when I picked her up, I had a lot more money to get her a bunch of toys and stuff, so it was easier for me to do it that way. You guys can do whatever, whoever is watching that may still want a puppy, may still want to be on the on the list, but I've got lots to do on that, paperwork to do. Um, 
I need to uh, just get a lot of stuff together that I'm going to need for my whelping room and all this. I've got a lot of it, but I've got to get everything together for them. And as you guys watch, as they grow, you'll see all that come together. And then there'll be a whole lot more things to watch besides them playing in the background. I hope you stay with me. I try to find things to that I know about, to talk about, to share. But I also want you guys to watch Roxy interact with them and watch them grow up and just see them from the time they're, they came home here until they get old enough and grown to have puppies. So you'll know if you do want a golden doodle or one of their puppies, you'll be able to have everything they ever did from the time they left their breeder. They came from a military family, Bougie and Paris. They, uh, they live on base and, the, and their daddy, the daddy of Bougie and Paris also lived on base next door. All of those people were military family and our mil military people and they wanted uh, to breed their female and they had their friend next door had the male poodle and I have their pictures in yesterday's video their pictures are on there so you can see all that there's that puppy again if you share this picture and somebody's got a puppy missing uh, write it in the comments and I'll email you and let you know where it's at so this is the end of my video please like share and subscribe and thank you so much for watching and sticking with me See you on the next one. Bye.